Hey guys, today I am back with another video and this is a really, really different video. It's about how you get these feet in shape for the summer. And if you guys wanna see what I do to get my feet in shape, then stay tuned. Right before we get started with this video, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red button. It is always free and don't forget to turn that notification bell so you can see the latest that's going on on my channel. And if you guys don't mind, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Okay, you guys, I was sent this product. It's called Summer Foot. And um, I was a little skeptical because I was like, eh, I don't know if it's going to help my feet because you guys know how your feet might get a little dry in the wintertime. And sometimes they crack. Sometimes you have a little bit of skin and you need to get that pedicure just to get the summer feet just right. Um, so this right here helps you to stay at home and get your feet straight and not have to go to a nail salon. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the product before I show you guys how I used it. First off, it is a foot mask and once you buy it, it's $19.99. There's only one set per box, one foot booty per foot. There are a couple of ingredients in here and I will list them down below in the description box. So if you wanna know what is exactly in this product, then it will be listed down below. And also, um, I just wanted to show you guys how the packaging was. It just came in this box and you guys will see what the product looks like um, when I'm showing you how I used it. But it came in the box and then this little package right here was inside the box, which the booties were inside of here. And also a step-by-step -step process on how to use this product. And um, you guys will see it when I show you in the video how I used it in every step. Basically, you're just gonna tear off the top of it. You're gonna slide your feet in. You're not gonna be able to tear it, but you can use scissors to cut off the top and slide your feet in and put a sock over it. And they leave you a little hint at the bottom telling you that you might wanna soak your feet in warm water before you put the booty on. And as you guys see, I, that's what I did. And so once you do that, you will have to wear these booties for two hours. So be prepared to stay home for two hours and just have that time allotted for you to stay home, relax, watch a show, watch a movie, whatever you're gonna do, and just let it work. Um, also, you need to know that um, once you finish this process, your feet will not be smooth as soon as you take the booties off. It will take, it says, um, approximately seven to 10 days for your feet to start peeling and for it to get to the, pro to, for the process to end. It will take um, seven to 10 days. And then after that, you will have beautifully smooth feet and it will be well worth it. But for me, it did not take seven days for the, um, the peeling process to start. For me, it took about uh, five days or four days and it started to peel. And just a little hint, you guys, for it to be easier for you to peel the dead skin off, it's better for you to take a warm shower or a warm bath and just use your bath cloth and kind of gently rub over your feet and then it'll help some of the peeling um, to, or some of the dead skin to come off. And as for me, you guys, I enjoy peeling my feet. I know it's very cringy and very, very gross, but it was very fun for me. If you guys know how it is to put glue on your hands like you did when you were a child, if you guys did that, I know I did, and let it dry and peel it off, it's kind of the same thing, but um, it's just really, really satisfying for me. And also, another side note, it says to, um, you can, it says that you can repeat this process um, a month afterward, but my, ha but my feet were so soft, I don't think that I would need to repeat it. Um, but if you would like to, you can a month afterwards, but you don't want to do this um, every week or something like that. So just a note to you guys. And also it says that this product should not be used on children that are 12, year, 12 years and younger. But I'm thinking if you're that young anyway, you probably don't have any dead skin or a lot of dead skin on your feet or you don't have uh, cracked feet. So I don't think you'll be needing it anyway. It has a warning on the bottom for um, a sunburn alert and it's telling you that um, this product will increase your skin sensitivity. So be careful um, once you're using the product. And it also says to use sunscreen or wear protective clothing to limit sun exposure while using this product for one week afterwards. 
and like I said you guys I haven't had any problems with sensitivity to the Sun or anything with my skin um, for that matter everything has been fine and on this satisfaction guarantee card that they placed in the box they also have three things that you may experience during um, the time that you're using this product or within the week of using this product it says you know you may experience it says when using this product you may experience tingling and slight redness the old skin on your feet may begin to peel off and if this product is working correctly the skin will definitely peel off do not be afraid and for me guys i forgot that um i, I knew that i had used the product but like as the days had passed i forgot i was looking at my feet i was like what in the world like what's going on with my feet and then i thought oh, yeah it's supposed to peel off so that's what it's supposed to do that just means that it's working right and then it says that your skin may become dry now i have not had a problem with my skin becoming dry after they peeled i don't know if they mean that they'll become dry like during the peeling process or right before it um that's what i'm guessing because my feet did not peel um, my feet did not get dry after all of the dead skin oh and and then you guys if you want to know about the smell um, the smell is kind of like acetone or fingernail polish remover. So you guys, if you're sensitive to that smell, you just want to be aware. But it's not going to linger on long because you would just scrap the um, foot booty down and you won't smell it again. You put your, your sock over it and you'll be fine. It's nothing crazy or anything like that. It just smells like stuff that you would find in a nail salon. So don't have your toenails polished before you do this product because once you put the, um, the booties on, the um, chemicals in the product it will like demolish your toenails all the paint will be gone or um be smudged really really bad so you have to redo your toenails just as a side note that you don't want to have fresh paint um, toenails when you're using this product and like i said you guys if you want to know the ingredients that are in this product then i will list them down below and also i will have a link down below for you guys to purchase the product and that is it you guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to share it because we all know that sharing is caring and i will see you guys in the next one